Hello. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Hello, guys. What is going on? It's Scorpion Place here to bring you another Minecraft mod review. Today, on the mod review list, <laughs> we're going to be reviewing the teleportation mod. Currently, I am on Minecraft version 1.7.10, but on the mod page, I be do believe it exists for 1.6.4. Yeah, we're one that seven, so no colored beacons and don't mind the dispensaries. It's over there. <laughs> so basically, what this mod's gonna add into your world is a bunch of new stuff to help you like teleport yourself and other entities or mobs around. It also adds a new dimension. So in this first, uh, well, we'll talk about that later. In the first chest we're gonna look into is the basic, I guess you could say, items. The first block you're going to want to craft is the teleportation block, which is four teleportation shards, which you get from the ore. Yeah, you mine it up and it'll give you those shards. Four will give you one block. You're also going to want to make some obsidian stakes, and to get these, you just put two obsidian, like you would, like if it was wood, and it gives you four stakes. Now on to the other stuff. The next thing you're going to want to make is a teleportation orb, which, which is just a teleportation block surrounded by eight glass all around. The next item on here is the te portal wand top, which is just flint and steel surrounded by eight obsidian. And you're going to want these two items right here. You're going to want to need them, or you're going to want to want them, whatever. Anyway, now here is where we get to the wands themselves. The first wand in this chest is the warp wand. We'll get into these wands what they do later. <coughs> Excuse me. But the first, how to, the first wand, the warp wand, is just a teleportation orb, just like we saw, well, just like we saw, with two obsidian sticks underneath. And the portal wand, you just need the portal wand top with two obsidian sticks under here. And the next wand. It's the jump wand, which you need a watching eye and two obsidian sticks. Now, to get the watching eye, it drops off of this mob occasionally. The watcher, you want to kill it. And as you can see, it can drop. Also, it also There's also a new food item called raw ender meat, which you can cook. And it'll give you cooked ender meat. So you can see the watching eyes are pretty common considering what this water can do it's actually quite cheap and also oh sorry to make the flint and diamond you're also gonna need to make the flint and diamond to ignite the portal you're gonna need a diamond and a flint okay, you see this one could do um, wonders um, anyway the last three items we're gonna cover are like I said it helps you really teleport mobs and yourself if you want around. Um, the first item is a teleportation sword, which is just two teleportation blocks, four ender pearls on top of an obsidian stick, or obsidian sticks, plus four attack damage. It's a relatively good sword. And the next item is the teleportation bow, just three obsidian sticks, an ender pearl, three string. And you're also going to want to craft the arrows that this bow uses, which is the teleportation arrow. To get four of these, you need an ender pearl, obsidian stick, and a feather. Oh. All right. Now onto these items, and then we'll hop into the dimension. So basically, the warp one. Well, we'll first cover the teleportation sword. Basically, it's just whenever you hit an item like a mob or uh, anything, so you, it'll teleport to the coordinates you set it to. So, see, I'm gonna click on the glowstone. Successfully set co cords, and you can do the same with the bow too. Shift and click. So whenever you hit an item with the sword or shoot something with the bow, it will teleport there automatically. So you see, if I hit the pig, it's gonna teleport in there. See, he's in here. Now we gotta slaughter Mr. Pig. So we I'll teleport back over here. See, and you see, if I hit the horse. He's going to teleport all the way over there. So you can set up some weird grinder 
So whenever you hit mobs, they can be teleport back over there. And you know, you can set up some really cool, like, grinder. <laughs> and the same thing goes with the bow, you just shoot them. See? It also works with hostile mobs. You see the skeleton? Oh, well, my aiming's bad. Go pig. Go pig. Where, where'd he go? Go. So you see, you can really set up a cool, like, little farm here. And it's also good for fighting Endermen. See, you could set your coils and see. Every time you hit them, they just set up or back. So it's a good way to combat Endermen if you know you're having trouble with them. Now these wands. The first one we're gonna cover is the warp wand, which is basically the same as the teleportation bow and the teleportation sword. So let's just set the scene. Um or set a scenario you're just walking around in the mine you know you forgot where your home is which way you came from well all you have to do is click right right click boom you teleport it back and this is good for like if you're done mining you just get your sword whip, whipped out or click it boom you're back now the jump one is basically just like an advanced ender pearl but it has a lot more range so you can teleport all the way over there good for transportation so if you click it over there if it reaches I don't know if it reaches I'm sure it'll reach over here okay I guess not um yeah Ooh, it was loud. and the portal wand all it does is it spawns another portal wherever you click it so it's or it spawns two I guess so I guess it's a good way to get obsidian if you're that in need of it and also the two mobs that are added to the mod are the watcher, you know, the one that drops eyes of ender, and also this observer. I don't know where he spawns. I could not find. Excuse me, I couldn't find out. But um, yeah, um, <laughs> he spawns here. So iron golem, go in there. Good boy. Um. Now you see like you do need a flint and di a diamond and flint to light this <laughs> to light this but I could not get it to light but it does make a cool blue fire bluish purple fire so um what I just went ahead and did is got the teleportation portal so we could just place it and then hop into the dimension okay here we go Ooh. this time let's see okay time set day and this is the new dimension the mod adds called the TP world that's what it said on the forums um basically all the trees are just cobblestone I guess you could say logs <laughs> with obsidian leaves and there's also this teleportation sapling which is a cool decorative block and this grass is also pretty cool you could set up like a cool farm if you're that into stuff where's a diamond toe well you can't you can't tile it but you know well that's it for the mod review guys if you want to check out the mod the link there will be a link to the forum page or the download page in the description and um, also be sure to follow my Twitter because I just recently made one so you know I can keep up to date with you guys and tell you what's going on or when's the new video coming out or why I haven't uploaded in such a while also like subscribe and uh, see you next time stay awesome content